Welcome to the Folly Room. All right, we're back, baby. After so long. Oh my God, it's been so long. So hello, everybody. Yes. Welcome back to the Folly Room for the first time in like a million, billion, trillion years. It's true. So what had happened was, um, where honestly, I don't really have any good excuses. Our last I bit. Do. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Our last bit of sort of recording kind of got corrupted. But basically, our old setup was, like, utilizing software from, like, the Bush administration. Yes. So, uh, we, Kevin, very smartly, um, sort of changed up. Now we're doing an emulator. Yes, um, originally we were using my old GameCube, which operated fine, but we were using a really old laptop mm -hmm. and an old Elgato capture card that I had from yeah way too long ago that only ran on my old laptop. And um, basically, we were having so many problems with uh, video capture, and then one time we just captured like next to none of the audio. Um, and there was like no way I could fix that in post. Mm -hmm. Um, so we kind of hit a dead spot for a while um, until I just bit the bullet and looked into emulation. Mm. So we're running this now on the Dolphin emulator on my laptop and yeah, right. uh, trying to catch back up to speed. Yep. And we didn't want to, you know, put out like the corrupted stuff and disappoint all, you know, 17 of you. So Yes. Um. Me specifically. <laughs> it was just literally I couldn't I couldn't make it even like watchable, yeah. frankly. Yeah. Um and so yeah and also claire lives in a different state. i was gonna say and a lot has changed That's you know true. being an adult is terrible and it sucks and it takes all the free time um but sort of new i, I actually <laughs> i don't watch our stuff so, <laughs> so i have no idea where i was uh in life last time we recorded but i have since moved um, and I have my own apartment, of which we're sitting on my couch. Oh, yes, it's lovely. So you're not going to hear our dad snoring or hacking, even though I know that's mostly what you guys come for. Mm -hmm. um, uh, hopefully, you'll still hear a kitty cat. I mean, no matter where I am, there will be a cat. Um, but yeah, happy to be back. Kevin came visiting me, and we're going to do some folly rooms. Thanks for watching. But yeah, so we are... Um, uh, Sort of st there, there might be some stuff that we've already done that, uh, that we have to do again because this is an emulator. Um, yeah, I couldn't import the save file uh, is basically what she means. Yeah. And, um, I tried to do some catch up, but there's still so much to catch up. Yeah. So we're just going to play around yeah. for today. And mm -hmm. uh, hopefully by the next time I will have gotten us caught up approximately yeah. to where we were in part 13. <laughs> uh, in and which it's... I taught what girding the loins meant. Oh, damn. I know it was funny. I was like, oh, that's okay. We'll just replay stuff and I'll just come up with new content to talk about. And then we were literally, we were catching up um, off, you know, off camera, off recording. And uh, I said something like, oh yeah, Mario is a felon canonically thinking I'm new and original and hilarious. And Kevin's like, you said that during one of our recordings. I think so that might've been the first recording. <laughs> so I have zero idea. I, I guarantee you there's going to be some overlap. So I apologize. I got a burp. Mm -hmm. But, uh, okay. Now we're back in one of those hellscapes. Yes, yeah. The uh, fever dream stages. Which uh, were never my real favorite, personally, because I always enjoyed the kind of lived-in quality of the world in these games. <laughs> um, so. You don't write, like the uh, back rooms uh, levels? I don't no. think anybody really does. I think they do because that's I think partly why Mario Galaxy and uh, Odyssey have been so popular but didn't seem appealing to me <laughs> I thought like, it was because of Rosa what's her name what's the hot one Rosalina yeah I don't know. Um, but also I'm using a different controller uh, and also because we're recording straight from the same machine that's playing the stuff uh, everything is a lot smoother, he says. Totally not b boofing it. Um, <laughs> Please, no boofage. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's something Kavanaugh said during his uh, hearings. <laughs> it was fun. I, um, we, when we were sort of like trying to catch up, Kevin um, did the like, uh, that level, the, the, the one episode where Kevin went full like ADHD hyper focus to get 100 coins and it took <laughs> like 79,000 tries. We did that one again and Kevin nailed it this time. But I was like, damn, good times. 
yeah. throwback to it. <laughs> we were on, you failed for the 50th time. You looked at me and slapped your hand over your mouth like you couldn't believe what was happening. Correct. When life was just so out of our, out of control, mm. for sure. Also, we just ate BLTs, so I have a... Uh, In this scene, oh, by the way, this scene, uh, a friendly reminder, has something for the moms. Not, not that. That's oh, I was going to speak for yourself. Mario! Oh! <laughs> Something <laughs> for the moms. Uh, well, he's perfectly imitating Mario, right? So Mario... No wonder carried. Peach keeps the plumber around. Oh. Ah, da, 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 Do da. you think they've... Consummated... <laughs> Their love. Um, because I feel like I've seen. There's also the the whole thing of like uh, if you've ever seen an upshot, upskirt shot What's of up? Peach. What? What? Have you? I'll quit the show right now. <laughs> <laughs> Live. Uh, if you've ever seen an upskirt shot of Peach, she uh, has nothing. No coochie. Oh, you mean no like a Barbie doll? I was like, huh? I'm sorry. What? I, I got the BLT sleepies. Mm, yeah. Oh, great. Is this where you got to catch them? No, this is the uh, the Mecha Bowser. Oh, scene. my God. This is like the first boss, no? Like mini boss? Yeah. Well, this is one of the, the bigger ones. Oh, this is, um, this is the one where you got to shoot missiles at them, right? Yeah. I can't wait for that. That's yeah. definitely... Well, we'll see. Like, yeah, yeah, new I'm controls, sorry. it might be much easier. You know what? You're so right. So... Anyway, I'll just toddle along because this Excuse game's me. trying to bait me into getting hit by this guy. I wish they had a uh, laser lizards at Knobles. Just yeah. outright killed you. <laughs> they got the tank boat, That's so I mean true. they're on the Same right track. Def. But um, yeah. That's so cool. I don't. I also don't quite understand how people can mistake the two. The, that talk about you really know, not no, seeing color. I was gonna say no <laughs> racial profiling. Yeah, right for real. But Look at that water. Ugh, delicious. I know. The GameCube had such, like, succulent graphics. It did. It did. Um, Apparently it did pretty poorly as a console, no? Yeah. I mean, I guess it came out kind of... That was sort of the console wars, like, height of it, but... Yeah. But, um... Oh, that has... Bowser had a coochie meow meow. Did you see that? <laughs> no, I wasn't... Oh, uh, my God. I, I was looking at the beer belly, actually. Oh, Bowser. <laughs> That's my same problem. God, look at her. She's so stunning. She is the moment. I've been getting more into brain rot. Oh, wait, what is that? So For our older... <laughs> for those approaching 30, tell me what that means. I mean, it's exactly what you think. I, I think it's sort of like... It's a big thing on uh, TikTok. Just... I, I don't know. It, it sort of pairs well with the chronically online concept of like... Uh, I wonder if there's a good definition for it, like on Urban Dictionary. Fair enough. Because, uh... To put it in context, I no longer have TikTok on my, my phone, and I just finished the memoirs of Alexandre Dumas. So, this really, you know, is not... Not quite... Oh, let's see, did I hit him? Oh, just whiffed him. Oh, Beef. there's what a bullet the hell? Bill. Okay, so here we go. So, uh, Urban Dictionary's definition is the inability to stop thinking about a certain topic... Which I think kind of undersells it a little bit. Um, it, it is sort of like there's like five, you know, uh, things that are popular or whatever. Like, yeah. and it just sort of keeps getting regurgitated. Mm -hmm. I love it. I hate thinking. I really do. Oh, another hit. That's pretty oh. groovy. Oh, but that sounds like a bullet bill. Oh, oh. that would have helped to notice that. <laughs> you like that concept? Yeah. But we're doing pretty well so far, I think. I know, you are, you are. Uh, I don't and think And this is, you know, possible. we're getting back into it. I, I, uh, it's been quite a while since I really... There we go. ...had That's to talk it. about anything interesting. I got a, one of those keen office jobs, so I do nothing. Oh, did you just win? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like there were because we had so many pieces of ancient technology hooked up to each other. That's really true. We had the GameCube going to the TV, the TV going to the capture card, the capture card going to the antique laptop. Like the controller, <laughs> like there was so much interference between the controller, and I'm talking milliseconds. Yeah. But that, oh wait, hold on. Cutscene. Cutscene. That's what matters. 
There he is! You bad man! Yeah, he thinks it's his yes. mom. So clearly the, the spikes develop. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like how a baby's skull I develops. Came out of her this. <laughs> her <really> mammal <laughs> pussy. Her mussy. <laughs> What did she do? Did she bang? What's his face? Can I? I love the word can I? Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, man. Um, you came out my pussy. Mm -hmm. Mom, don't watch this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep it uh, mom friendly, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, no, I guess that is brain rot. Um, because <laughs> now I'm at a loss for words. Just cognitive function decline. Yeah, right. I feel that. Um. I think people have discussed this online, and I just haven't paid attention to the discourse. Sorry. He didn't say that. But I think someone did, like, a game theory of, like, this is all, like, to keep the three of them entertained. Mario, Bowser, and Peach. So, but... So maybe they're in, like, a polycool or whatever the hell that word is. Because I've only ever noticed it online, but haven't looked it up. Interesting. Am I using it correctly? Polycule? Yes. I, I guess I would guess okay. so. Shout out to my poly homies, if you're out there. <laughs> yeah, one of the seventeen of you. I, I could probably guesstimate, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Too Dude, soon. We were living in Corona <laughs> a couple years ago. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Kevin. Thanks. You really destroyed that mm -hmm. in a good way. Yeah, no, it's, it makes such a difference to have the right, like, equipment that just responds. Right. Um. Waha! I've been dusting off the old Mario uh, mm. quotes. Because whenever I can't think of anything particularly funny, I just make sure to make a Mario noise. Valid, and valid. there you go. I feel like it's very, like, millennial of me. <laughs> I'm not a millennial, by the way, but I'm close enough. Although we have some, uh, we have some like friends and cousins, for instance, who like try and annex us into the uh, the millennial age bracket, which I don't see as like a bad thing. I just think they're wrong. Um, <laughs> well, you're you're closer than I. You're right on the cusp. Uh, yeah. Right? Some people say I am. Some people say yeah, I'm not. True. The it people of my age are like we're just kind of our own thing as the cusp babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Zillennial is something I like to yeah, throw around. I like that like, as or well. Or the GameCube generation. That's another thing that feels right. Because, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I'm only like an honorary 90s kid. Mm -hmm. um, I do like a lot of boomerisms, though. I do have a lot of like boomer sayings that I just sort of siphon. What's your favorite boomerism? Boomerism. Um, well, there's. I don't. I can't tell the difference between boomerisms and like shit dad says. <laughs> That's um, true. Who's He's also good. a cusp baby. I mean,. Yeah. Culturally, they're really between Gen X right. and uh, and true. Boomer. So, because you know, sometimes they're completely flummoxed by both. Um, <laughs> good word, oh. that isn't it? Look at you, Man. dude. Mario's just—he's got that riz. He's got that skibbity. Oh, sk oh. yes, the um, skibbity riz. Skin. No, yeah, uh, our dad is full of the one-liners. Like I, mm -hmm. and or just unique funny. lexicon as yeah. well. Like, oh, okay, I wasn't anywhere near that. Okay, I can well, he's one of the most well-read people I've ever met in my life, and he. But he like he's he's kind of like in the <laughs> closet about it. <laughs> um, he's very much like he wants to come across as like blue collar, yeah. uh, which he, he is. is, yeah. But you know, he he likes to be challenged intellectually yeah right like i for for instance <sighs> he'll, dude, dude it it's not like i clicked you. through that um he uh he he will say these things and it'll just be one of the like growing up it's just like ah it's just some shit dad says yeah and then uh you know i'll have like a signed reading like back in the day like in high school mm. and it'll be like a quote from of mice and men yeah and i'll be like ah oh, that's not just like <laughs> my dad wasn't just like Having one of his turns, <laughs> like yeah. his action. Whoa! Did you see? I did, I did. clip yeah, through that. that I'll come fair. back to that another yeah, time. Okay. Then. But um, yeah, Ginchy is one of my favorite dad yeah. words, mm -hmm. and that's like a '50s term that mm -hmm. meant cool. Sometimes I've seen it uh, attributed as sexy. 
Um, but it doesn't <laughs> sound like a sexy enough it's, word. I was gonna say, I, if somebody called me Genshi, I'd probably. Yeah. If I didn't, it, you know, it kind of sounds like a slur if you apply it to a person. <laughs> it's true. Um, but we've always heard it like in reference to technology, so mm-hmm. it seems to us to be like clever, uh, mm-hmm. like clever engineering, yes, or, yes. or like sophisticated tech, or just you know, neat. Yeah. Um, and it's a great word, and I use it all the time, and yeah, nobody too. questions me. No, because it sounds like yeah, Genshi. You yeah, know? it's it, right, right. It yeah. definitely sounds because I. It almost sounds like gadget. To I me also a hear bit. that. Yeah. Or gizmo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, which is an underused word, but um, dude. What can I tell you? What the it's, it's hell? Just, you know, we're again. This we don't have like, ancient tech I was interpolating. Gonna say, this is the difference of like you cutting with a sharp versus a dull knife, man. Like, you, yeah, you know, it's it's not user error. Yeah, but it felt like. I mean, yeah, the amount of times right. I've whiffed the the jumps, <laughs> and sometimes they are because like it's you know I'm using an old Xbox 360 controller mm-hmm. uh, that I had to calibrate myself uh, in Dolphin, but it mm-hmm. feels like it's working. Um, Another oh another dad word was frusionglasen, which you know sounds cold, and he always used it to mean cold. Um, but it was great. Let's see what else are we? What else can we do? Frusionglasen. Uh, let's go back to the. Let's go back to the beach. Okay. Um, yeah, frusionglasen, which I used um, in like when I was hanging out with some of my my friends who are a little older. They're retired. Um, in the artistic communities in Philadelphia, and uh, they were like, "Oh, that's that that's an ice cream brand from that's like crazy. back in the day. It was like the old school Hagen Dazs, mm-hmm. I guess. It was Frusion Glass, and uh, I was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. so like Dad isn't just like unhinged making up words." No. Um, well, that was always a thing about me because there's, or I guess our dad, like I, um, there's a classic like dad jokes. He's not a dad joke individual like he's got like dad what i attribute as like dad sayings and quirks but i feel like they're kind of unique but well for instance if i ever said mm. anything that he found particularly uninteresting he would say that's a good story you, you should tell, tell that at parties, parties. Ah! that one i use that all the time if i ever no, no, no. you know i highly recommend to anybody if you're in a at a party and you say something that nobody responds to yeah. Oh damn, you're getting your asshole rocked, dude. Oh my god, it's getting such eight. <laughs> Not in the good way. Yes. Please. I wish I had. <laughs> say it. Well, there's a lot. I was gonna say that kind of courage <laughs> to just take a working Italian man's uh, technology and wave at him as I run off. <laughs> Please don't do that. Remember your stealing phase? No. Me neither. Let's not talk about it in a fixed recorded media. What do you mean? Uh, anyway. I mean I invoke the fifth. <laughs> Say less. God. Whoop. This, like, this level gives me... Angina. Yes. Wow. We really share one brain cell. <laughs> I was about to say that. Like, I just the concept of like you're trying to jump from something that is like slowly. Well, it's like one of those dreams where you're on the school bus yeah. and your teeth start falling out, and mm-hmm. you're like, "Oh boy, I wish this weren't happening." <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Like and subscribe if you too wish that weren't happening when you have those dreams. We're so funny. Nailed it. <laughs> We'll get back into it, I promise. Well, we, I'm, we I'm personally that. out of practice. So we, we did Rico Harbor, we did Pinapar. I guess we could go back to oh, Bianca no, Hills. No, no, sorry. Unless we want to try and get a uh, a Shine Sprite in Delfino Plaza. But I don't know yeah, what might not? be available. Well, I don't know what's available here. Oh. Well, never um, mind. I mean, I kind of know what's available. I just don't know what's interesting and achievable. Um, I could... I wonder if that bird is over there, but that's a long way off. I'm just going to do another Bianca. Hey, yeah, blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> when your Japanese Foley artist is uh, <laughs> commanded to make the most Anglo-Saxon <laughs> sounds possible. I know. I may have used that joke already. Too. Did you? Hey, you know. Oh God. Well, that's the problem. Is like I, I didn't replace my brain. It's mm. the same one. Like Sometimes 
occasionally I will watch one of these, and something will happen, and a joke will pop in my head, and then I'll say it in the video, and I'm like, wow, it's almost like I'm the same fucking person. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Aren't I so funny and quirky and cool? God. Yes. <laughs> I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude. I also feel like I just put more pressure on myself because uh, I'm a woman. I guess that'll do it. Yeah. It's it's a it really weird situation because uh, there's like high expectations and yet the bar is also in hell a little <laughs> bit. Like, for instance, I just joined a softball team and it's co ed. And I, I used to play softball, so like I, I'm starting out. I mean, it's been a decade, but I'm starting out like I, I'm not a complete beginner. Um, and uh, when I, I I played, and I had a pretty decent hit, and I could feel all the guys being like, wow, wow, wow. they made that mm -hmm. exact noise actually. Um, <laughs> like, have you ever seen those videos of uh, English <laughs> Parliament? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's. Uh... Um, and I was like, I it really, if I had done that when I played softball, that would have been like sort of the standard. Like I wasn't anything special. Mm -hmm. um, so to me, I don't know. Like I feel like I needed to prove myself, but at the same time, like there, the standard was so low because I think they, not to generalize, and I'm sure, I feel bad saying this kind of, but they, I, I think they thought like didn't really expect anything from me, you know. There. It was also, I mean, you were a new person, yeah, too. Yeah, right, right. And a lot of that could be attributed to just being an unknown... I want to be special, Kevin. Don't look at me like I know... <laughs> Don't look at me like you are special, but <laughs> not that kind of special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. <sighs> Living is hard. Oh, yeah. Uh, so next, I uh, after this series, or ah! excuse me. Oh. So I want to do some one-offs at some point um, in this uh, Get out of here, crazy bastard. world, I guess. Mm. And uh, I also really want to play Wind Waker at some point. That is a total classic. Oh of, yeah, it, it is really funny. Like especially watching you. I had mentioned it earlier. Like watching you slide around on your belly as Mario is total mm -hmm. total nostalgia from. Uh, Dude, wake it up, eat a giant Sam's Club chocolate muffin, mm -hmm. and sitting and watching you play that game is the last time I was happy. Yeah. <laughs> it does It does do something, kind of, for the spirit, I it think. It does. God. No. Honestly, like, I, I feel like people often romanticize their childhood, but I am eternally grateful to have bodily and monetary autonomy. I yeah. I honest, like... Yeah, the those times weren't as simple as uh, I feel like. Yeah. They had so often, you know. Wow, I really what a pithy saying that was. <laughs> That's okay. You one talk to my doctor one about eye is looking at the screen, and the <laughs> other is somewhere back in your head. I um, yeah, I, the people that uh, like the older folks that are like high schools, the best time of your life. I'm like, if that's true, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I had the third the world version of yeah. <laughs> Delaware River. Oh, come on, leave my man alone. He's it's trying his best. <laughs> he does. Bro, that is me. The second I get any car, <laughs> it is like my my stomach knows. I'm starting to get almost this Pavlovian conditioning of like, if I have to leave the house, my body just sends itself signals to pee. <laughs> And I'm like, there's nothing in there. I know there's nothing in there. <laughs> Would you cut that out? I know. But no. God, I feel that. Now, I can't tell me tell you how many, like, white-knuckle car rides I've had in my life. Something about, I don't know if it's the position or if it's, like, the motion, but uh, it's like being in a TJ Maxx. I just immediately need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard that? Uh, no, but I, I kind of just understand it. <laughs> Exactly, correct. So what are we what are you doing? Uh it's the red coin collection thing mm -hmm. uh mission. So I'm just kind of going around and harassing the wildlife. Cleaning up and cuz sometimes you'll get a blue coin for oh, completing certain things or killing a special 
enemy or mm -hmm. um hate that. Yeah, me too. Oh! Hey, yeah, we're just hopping around. There it goes. Do you think Mario's wealthy? Yes. Uh, for the amount of coins, and again, I feel like cost of living must be pretty low, being in the, the, the court of the princess. Why do you um, say that? It's because it's ran by a woman? Um... They, no, they no. Carefully <laughs> choose your words carefully. Who actually run? It's the Mushroom Kingdom, no? That I don't understand. So it's it's a Mushroom Kingdom, right? Yeah. And there's like a Mushroom King? Um, I don't know. I, I, I haven't really thought about that sort of thing. It kind of seems like there's, you know, a Regency sort of situation where, like, maybe there is a Mushroom King and he's infirm and the administration... Of the kingdom is left to Princess Peach. I don't know. He's pro appeasement. Um, you know, it could just be kind of like traditionally a kingdom, but there's there's no one left uh, in in the royal house. To, Damn. I don't know. I'm. Also, did you see that the the official portrait of King Charles? Um, and how it looks like Vigo the Carpathian from <laughs> Ghostbusters Two. No, I'll look it up right now. You better. I'll I'll. Edit it in as soon as you see it. Yeah, right. It. Okay, so let's see. So King Charles. Official portrait. I'm official. sure it's. Official. <laughs> like, tell me that isn't the Ghostbusters oh, 2 goop painting. First of all, I don't understand why it looks like he's going through a portal in Minecraft. Um, yeah, everyone is like, that's him burning in hell and stuff like that. But I'm just like, this is, this is the Ghostbusters 2. It Vigo looks like it was painted by, with blood, honestly. Yeah. Well, did you, there, there's the Luigi version of it, and that's for, I think, David Attenborough got his uh, portrait done. Wait, Luigi? Yeah, huh? his. Oh, the, a green version? Yeah, it's a oh, greenish I see, version. I see. <laughs> You're speaking in tongues. David Attenborough. Who is that? Um, he's he was, an announcer? He's kind of like the Bill Nye of, like, the Animal Kingdom, I guess. Okay. Official portrait. Yeah, how about that? Look at him all. Just a little, little knee. He's just a little guy. Mm -hmm. Damn. I want to commission a portrait. Yeah, me too. I know you do. I was gonna say that—that that is just your calling. I've in tried. Life. Have you? No. Um, oh, well, I let myself be sketched in profile um, in college. For, oh, all right. Um, Same one, thing. It's kind of. Yeah. I don't think I got to keep it though. Oh, that's lame. But. That's not lame. I mean, you should pay artists, but. Oh yeah, no. I mean. But I was—I was tickled that she wanted uh, to sketch me. Um, Felt nice to be wanted. <laughs> Man, these these ladies here got rockin' hongalongas. Mm -hmm. It's the Mediterranean diet. Yeah, right. Which I'm supposed to be on. Apparently my cholesterol is through the roof. Yeah, mine too. Um, the Mediterranean diet is also interesting because it's kind of like a, a white Anglo-Saxon cop-out for, like not having a healthier pace of life because mm. the Mediterraneans don't work like Northern Europeans and they take more breaks and have different lifestyles generally. Um, yeah, I feel like it's like, oh, they eat olive oil and wine and they're healthy forever. And it's like, they also sleep in the middle of the day in some <laughs> right. countries. And, you know... There's, there's more or less some other things. Well, I've actually heard that uh, like a medieval peasant's diet is more potentially more heart healthy, which is like cabbage, yeah, and it's... bread. Yeah, at medieval working habits were also generally a bit more favorable because yeah. you would have to be fed throughout the day when you were working by your boss. Yeah, right. So. That seems like a good place to pause for yeah. now. Thank you for coming uh, to our reconquista of our own channel. I was going to say, we're getting back into it. Please yeah. stick with us, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'll have a nice little montage collage sort of doohickey for uh, all the 
the stuff that we catch up on when we're not actively recording. Mm-hmm. But thank you for joining us on uh, the, the Folly Room. Room. We didn't plan that. No. And that's why it was off key, not in harmony. We'll get Goodbye. there. Goodbye. <laughs>